Hello, I'm going to show you the new Revit 2013 Divide and Repeat tool. Now this pattern that you can see looks a lot like what I've shown before with a Revit array. But in fact this is quite different. It was created using the repeater method which is quite different and a whole lot easier than it used to be. So there's an undo and a redo just to see how the reactor principle works when you drag a control point that changes the color and the height of those boxes depending on the distance from the control point. But what I want to show this time is a different control. We're going to tick this inverse parameter and that will invert the pattern on half of the boxes. So you can see an alternating pattern there and if you want to see exactly how that was done you will need to attend the next Revit technology conference. There's one in Australasia in Wollongong just south of Sydney on the 24th of May 2012 and the same presentation I will repeat in Atlanta at the end of June 2012. So hopefully I will see you there and you can attend the presentation called Divide and Conquer by Tim Waldock.